This is my review of the Tracer MPPT charge controller that I'm using for my sailboat, which is a 1986 Katarina tall rig with the bowsprit. It's all currently connected up. Uh, this is a very sort of affordable MPPT charge controller from China, I believe, that you can buy on uh, on Amazon for a, a pretty reasonable price. There's a few reviews online and, and written that have actually taken apart and shown that it actually is an MPPT, char MPPT charge controller, because uh, apparently there's a few fakes out there that aren't actually MPPT charge controllers. I used to use just a shunting charge controller before which would just measure uh, a voltage and then sort of turn off and on as you hit that voltage. The, the big advantage of an MPPT charge controller is your solar panel will put out more than 12 volts. Uh, and if you're just using a, a shunting or regular charge controller, it'll just discard the extra voltage um, and only put in the voltage that it needs. So right now we're charging at uh, 13, it's putting in 13.7 volts, a 0.5 amp char charge. Um, if it wasn't converting from the higher, the, the panel's probably a 16 or 17 volt panel. Uh, we should actually be able to check that. Yeah, so right, it must be a 20 volt panel. Right now it's putting in 19.7 volts. Instead of discarding the um, extra voltage between 19.8 and the 13.5 that it's actually going into, it converts that into more amperage. So it allows you to utilize the, the full capacity of your panel. Now I have a 100 watt panel. Uh, if you just have like a 10 watt panel, they, they don't put in um, 20 volts. So something like this isn't as necessary. It, they're more helpful the bigger your array is, uh, the extra waste it will recover. Um, and if your array is smaller, there's a lot less waste. So there, there's a lot less use for them. Now this is the optional um, display unit you can get for it. It, it just connects through an, which, an RJ45 Ethernet cable by the looks like. It could be RJ11. Uh, I don't remember off, right off the top of my head, but uh, it makes it nice and easy to connect. You just plug this cable in and then you can put the display unit wherever you'd like. Um, you can apparently program the controller through here. It has a little LED that'll show numbers and it has, has one button. Um, I don't know how you would do it setting your battery type and uh, how many amp hours it is and, and of course it doesn't give you any information about your charge capacity it just says you are charging we will show you a flashing light if you're full uh, an orange light if you're low and a red if the battery's dead and, and flashing red if it's critical uh, and the little add-on piece was quite cheap so i don't know if i'd even recommend this charging system without the add-on um, because the add-on makes it just much much easier to program um, there's quite a few options, uh, so as we can go through them here, it'll, it'll, if you hook this up, it will also act as a, as a charge controller, but, uh, or, or as a battery monitor, although I don't use it as such. If you, if you run all your boat systems, uh, wiring through here, it'll show you your draw on the batteries, how many amps, and, and will attempt to keep track of the level of your battery. So that's, that's what this is, although it's reading zero because I have a, a separate charge controller that I have a separate review for. Um, this is the amp hours of the battery, uh, 200. It's actually 230. I, I set it a little low as, as that's recommended to make it just a bit more accurate. And the temperature, 30 Celsius. Uh, this is the state of charge, which right now is showing uh, between 100 and just a little below 100%. Uh, the type of battery is, is flooded. And again, it shows you the, the amp hours. Um, we can go through the some of these options. I don't actually know what they are. The voltage coming in from the solar panel because I don't use them. So you can check some of the other reviews that, that maybe use all of this feature. I just purely use it as a charge controller and I, I use the uh, BM1 as my battery monitoring system. So I, I find the, the battery monitoring side of it is, is generally fairly in, inaccurate. Um, it seems to purely be voltage based. So like any voltage meter, when your system's currently under load, your voltage shows as a little bit lower. So it'll in turn show your battery level is a little lower. So the, the state of charge is, I find only really useful when you, when you have no draw on the system at all. Uh, so it can settle at its natural voltage versus the artificial voltage that you're getting when you, when you put a draw on it. So it's like those little ones that you plug in that have a light for, you know, empty 
one quarter, three quarters full type of thing. Um, the, the, the BMR is, is much more accurate for your battery level, although it's far from perfect as well. So uh, this review is sort of purely based on it as a, as a charge controller. Uh, it seems to measure the amount of charge fairly accurately, or at least compared to my other monitor. There's only, they're both showing a, a 0.5 charge right now so so this is from the solar panels to the battery and this is actually wired through the shunt of this so that the charge comes into to this and then it's passed to this and then passed to the batteries or at least through the shunt not not through the, the unit itself of course um, it seems to be very accurate it, it has does a really good job of getting the batteries charged I've I'm running uh, 230 amp hour six volt deep cycles and um, I've had them 50% discharged and with the 100 watt panel and this charge controller it seems to get it up to 100% uh, without too much trouble uh, in quite a reasonable amount of time uh, although that's largely based on the, the size of the solar panel but uh, shunting controllers and things like that will only ever get you to 80% reliably this seems to be able to get you up to 100% and actually get the battery up to 100% some of them will show 100% but you put a bit of load and It'll drop down to 80 once you get the surface charge off um, and it takes quite a long time to get beyond that but that's one of the other features of a multi-stage charge controller which, which this advertises to be and, and appears to be. Uh, connecting it up is, is quite simple. Um, there's the two wires that I have going to my solar panel on top of my Bimini and then the wires that go to the battery and in this case because I'm running a charge controller, they actually wire in into the shunt over there, and uh, I guess you can't see it, it's too dark, but into the positive side as well. Uh, it seems to be a great charge controller, especially for the price. Uh, it's, it's very affordable, uh, has a nice interface. The, the brightness setting isn't as great as sort of a higher quality one like this, which is easy to read, but you know, you get what you pay for and uh, for what it is it's very good I'd, uh, I'd certainly recommend it